Welcome, welcome to this super most amazing, riveting, dynamic, probably also terrible tutorial. Um, I mean, mostly terrible. Uh, but I think I think that I'm going to teach you something here that I just learned today. So, you know, uh, a lot of you out there say, oh, Andy the Great, he is a master at Avid. Um, while that is true, it's also not true at all. Um, and I learned something amazing. And I don't know if this is with the update on Avid 2020. I did just update, and it's amazing. If you if you haven't yet, I would suggest it. It fixes a lot of glitches. That's for another tutorial. I am just going to show you something that just has changed my life. Um, okay, so so I've been I made some proxies, right? I am a linked a few files and made some proxies, and I'm working in this sequence here. And I wanted to show you. I have this problem where my clip is stereo, but I like to edit in a mono sequence. Um, and it just drives me crazy, right? Because so, for example, you're in here and you insert that in. Well, it's creating another stereo track. And if I want that stereo track to be up here, it's just annoying having stereo and mono tracks together. And then, you know, you get a few of these in there and then eventually you have to right click and split track to mono and then move that up to where you want right and then you have to whoops and then you have to you know delete these tracks right i not a quick way to do it instead of right clicking because right clicking only deletes a single track if you push delete on your keyboard or maybe it's just because i mapped it there but then it'll delete the ones you have selected anyways so so this has kind of been the process right of what i've been doing for editing however I just realized that you can go to your source, right click on it, say edit, um, no, modify, and you modify the clip, and then you can modify it right here. Here's your drop down. You set multi channel audio, click on that, and you can change it to mono. And then voila, it is mono. Uh, and you can also bulk do that, right? So highlight all those, right click. Um, where did it go? Uh, modify, modify clip, and set that to mono, and it'll set all of those to mono. Mono, stereo. Beautiful. Okay. I hope that helped all of you because now I can edit gracefully and peacefully, and I don't have to keep deleting tracks in my timeline and this is this is a lifesaver more just annoying it's just annoying to have to do that so um yeah hey um i'm happy to be back it's been a while since i've done a tutorial so anybody out there that has some ideas or wants to know anything about the new 2020 um i have lots of good things to say about it so um as opposed to when they first came out with their release and i wanted to pull my hair out okay hope you're all well peace be with you